Mecca, seven, chapter verse five. It says, "Trust ye not in a friend; put ye not confident in a guide. Keep the door of thy mouth from her that light in thy bosom." Ten reasons why you should not consider saying they are your friends. Number one, a real friend will tell you the truth, not lies. A real friend will talk on your behalf, not have you standing alone, speechless. A real friend would not try breaking the law, but holding it. Four, a real friend would not trick you and see you go to jail without saying something on your behalf. A real friend you can trust at all time, not just on certain days when you get paid. A real friend would not tell me f or, or fight my battle alone, but together we can win. Now, I'm going to tell you what a real friend is. A real friend closer I call Jesus Christ. The closest friend I really have is available 24-7. While I'm asleep, he's available. While I'm up, he's available. Seeing things unseen and unseen, he's available. The closest friend I really have lie never busy, but always available to answer my request. He might not come when I want him, but he always on time. I'm talking about 10 reasons why you should consider saying they are your friends. Because friends stick closer than a brother. Friends will always run away. But this friend I know, he said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you, but I'll be with you always until the end of time. The best friend to have through thick and through thin is not human, but he's a spirit. He can't be seen, but you know he's there. And the 10th one, the closest friend I really have, he's my joy when I am sad because he turned my tears into joy. We may endure for night, but joy cometh in the morning.